I've only been in the Philippines for about three hours. Two hours we're at the airport. The other hour was in traffic, but we made it. We're back in the Philippines, guys. I'm hyped. And the very first stop of this trip is, of course, Jollibee. Dang, it's like October 14th, and they got the Christmas tree out already. Good morning. Yep. Welcome back. Morning. Do you remember me? Yes, yes, she does. Hello. Still naked, I see. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Just settling down at Carlos' place right now, and uh, I think we're gonna check out his studio in a second. I've never seen it myself yet, actually, I think, so it'll be a fun time for both of us. Now, these are the bags I have packed. I have the Katha sneaker bag right here. Most of my shoes are in this bag, but I have a couple others here, and then I have another duffel bag ready to be filled up with some Green Hills specials. Now, I do plan to go to Green Hills and show you guys a ton of crazy fake sneakers and do some bargaining, but if you guys haven't seen the previous Green Hills bargaining vlogs, check them out. I'll leave them in the description and down below. I'll probably make a Philippine, uh, I already have a Philippine playlist, but I'll probably make a like Green Hills or a, a fake Philippines vlog playlist. I'll leave them linked down below. You can binge watch them after this. And uh, yeah, let's get going downstairs to Carlos' studio, see what he has cooking up down there. Into the studio we go. Welcome to the black space. <laughs> <laughs> we got some shoes already here. This, this is actually really dope. Error sofa. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's so dope. Oh my gosh. This I would love to have something like this at my house. We got this nice table. We got the custom couch right here as an Airmore Up Temple fan. This is really cool. I would love to have something like this at home. Oh, we got an official unboxing knife. Next up, we'll show you guys another room. Yeah, so this is where the unbox stock you guys work. So they're like the tech site that they run and they found it. So they have a small space where they can do their unboxing, shoot their videos. And they recently got their silver plate button. Hey! So they're now 120,000 subs, I think. Dang. This is a half a million. Million peso TV. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Wow. Yeah. That's huge. It's like half the size of the wall. We want to turn this into some sort of like podcast room. So I said like a Joe Rogan setup. You gotcha, you gotcha. But they haven't fixed it yet. So bare bones right now. Lots of boxes. So set this up so there's a table, and then you have that microphone thing going on. And, and then what's this here? Cooler or air old, conditioning? It's the old AC for the other room. Ah, for okay. the main room. The main room. Gotcha. Final room? This is still empty. This is like the master's bedroom. Okay. So I have no idea what those do here. It's a blank canvas right here. I like the window there. A little tree action going on. And then, oh, another little corner here as well. That's cool. It's like a little down. Oh, it connects. That's sick. That's really cool. So we're outside of Carlos' house right now. I'm gonna grab some lunch in just a moment. I just gotta say, I miss the Philippines. I miss it so much. It feels so good to be back here once again. So I'm really excited to pump out some vlogs for you guys during the next two weeks. But with that said, I'm starving. I need to get some more food in my system. I need some Filipino food in my soul. So uh, yeah, let's get some food, and then right after I get some food, we're gonna go to the fake market at Green Hills Mall. We're not gonna do any insane like bargaining today or like long sessions of bargaining, but I do want to sort of like get an idea and a feel of what sneakers they have at the fake market. So when we do go, we're not wasting time. So I'll give you guys a little teaser in today's vlog of some of the fake sneakers that we find, and uh, we'll probably find some stuff that I'll show you guys later in the week that we're gonna bargain for. But if there's any steals, I'll try and bargain for it right here in today's vlog. So yeah, let's get some food real quick. We'll check out some fake sneakers, and I'm actually at the movie theater right here. I wanted to take my first day here in Manila a little bit easy, so just some light vlogging. I'll watch a movie 
easy. We're catching up with Carla, we're catching up with the homies. It's, it's a good day. It's a good peaceful day here in the Philippines. And my friend Tom, if you guys know Tom Stefania, he's gonna be coming to the Philippines for the very first time tomorrow. So I'm gonna get to give him a tour of the Manila Philippines area, the shopping areas, the Green Hills areas. Oh man, so many areas. But yeah, I'm gonna show him all the cool shops that we can shop at. And it's gonna be a fun week here with Tom in the Philippines. So make sure you guys stay tuned for the vlog, subscribe, hit that red button down below with notifications on. And uh, yeah, with that said, I've been talking long enough. Let's get some food and let's look at some fake sneakers. now inside of Green Hills Mall and I want to give you guys a heads up they are cracking down more and more on vloggers so filming here by myself was incredibly incredibly hard I did record a majority of this on my iPhone and we do end up buying a pair of sneakers which I will show you guys in detail at the end of the video so stay tuned for that little bit of bargaining I record it's not really much bargaining but for this vlog I'll be showing you guys a ton of the sneakers up close and in detail so with that said let's get started starting off with some crazy Air Max 98 off whites now this is not an Air Max sneaker they did for the off-white the 10 collection they of course did the Air Max 90 you guys have seen those time and time again in a variety of different colorways but the Air Max 98 they did not make these these are like a complete fake they never made this shoe as a real sneaker I have a feeling that this was a sneaker that people made a custom of and then the Green Hills people they ordered these as fakes next up we have the Air Jordan 1 low Union black toe now this is a shoe I definitely have seen a custom of on Twitter Twitter and the other uh, customizer actually like tweeted it out on Twitter well, where else do you tweet it but they tweeted it out and the store Union actually like retweeted it and shared it so that designer that artist got like that cosign of Union you know thinking it was really dope and here they are here sitting as fake pairs so they have a bunch of these crazy crazy like little high top converted to low top sneakers here at Green Hills marketplace now surprisingly these weren't that expensive these were only going for about 1200 or 1300 pesos next up we have these shattered back Board low ones. Now, you wouldn't expect some of these sneakers to be sitting here at Green Hills because, you know, they're not as hyped up as other sneakers, but the demand for some Jordans here in the Philippines is just so high. A lot of these low tops did sell out. So if you know you took an L on the high tops or the low tops, then these fake low tops are a pair that some people might consider getting. So you guys know about the Just Do It Air Force Ones. Well, they never made this colorway. The regular ones, they have orange branding, orange hits all over the place. These have red. It's a red swoosh. It's a red patch on the side right there these uh I'm not too crazy about these I like the original real version a lot more next up we got the air max 270 for off-white these are in fact not a real sneaker and uh, this is just a complete fake this is a complete super super easy fake to make too like when you think about it they just have to make a fake air max 270 slap on the quotes slap on that little orange hit on the side and put the print on the inside next up we got some off-white prestos now off-white is probably the most popular thing here at Green Hills. It used to be Supreme, it used to be Yeezys, and right now Off-White is the most popular, so you'll see a ton of Off-White sneakers, including these Prestos, which include every set of lace manageable. Next up, we got the uh, Air Force One MCAs right here. The Blue Joints, one of the most expensive Off-White sneakers you can buy. Now, these fakes were actually not that great. They're pretty easy to spot. The leather was super, super like pleathery, fake plastic. There's just no attempt at quality in this shoe at all. They're really just going for the look here. How much are these ones? Two five. Two You have the green or green. blue? Okay. Next up, we got some off-white dunks right here, the SB Lows. Now, they have the blue UNC pair right here. I actually haven't seen this colorway before. And they also had these right here, this sort of like orange pair, this orange tie-dye. I've never seen these as well. And I'm surprised I found these two colorways sitting. But that red and gray pair I've seen a lot of people have early, uh, they didn't have any of those here. Just none of them. So they had these two colorways. I don't know if these are releasing. At Green Hills, they also had a ton of sponge 
SpongeBob SquarePants Kyrie's, a lot of the collection was here, the SpongeBob ones being the most popular, and I found it very surprising, but at the end of the day, if a shoe has resale and it has some hype, then it's probably here at the fake markets. Now talking about a hype sneaker, they also have the Sakai waffles right here in a few different colorways. This is the yellow, black, and red pair, and these were going for around 2,000 to 2,500 pesos. These ones surprised me, they had the synths. These were the pink Yeezy 350 V2s, and these were an Asia exclusive, and they actually wanted 2,000 pesos for these ones. Checking out some more Yeezys, they also had these yellow ones right here, and I actually don't even know if they made this colorway. It might have been like the Antelia. An Antelia. I think we might have seen like rumors or sample pairs of these online before, but they've never actually released. And I asked them about the pricing. Are these 2,000 also, or a different price? Two Checking out some of the Yeezy Dad shoes, they of course had some 700 V2s. So here's a look at a colorway that doesn't actually exist, it's sort of a black one. And then they also had the magnets, which were, I believe, the YeezySupply.com uh, exclusive. So they had these here, and the quality was honestly straight garbage. I, I, you, you could spot these for being fake from like a mile away. That's how bad these fakes were. Now, talking about bad fakes, they had the Air Force One Low Utilities. Yes, this is probably one of the more commonly cheaper fake sneakers here at Green Hills and these Air Forces there's just so much there's so much wrong with it like the, the shape is off they're like smushed they're not the proper height of an Air Force One low the quality is really bad the insoles actually don't even fit properly inside of the shoe and look at the back the back with the uh, the pull tab right there it's a pretty dirty shoe I mean if you're trying to buy a white shoe you at least want it to be clean and these look pretty dirty up and uh, yeah I, just, I couldn't recommend these I think these were going for like a thousand pesos pretty much a bargain sneaker here at Green Hills they also had the white colorway that never existed. This is like an all white or a cool gray version, you could call it. And this is just as bad as the pair before. But talking about bad shoes, check out these Yeezys. How much is this one here? This one? One five. One five? Yeah, our last price is one three. Okay. Checking out more of the Yeezys because we do end up bargaining for a pair of Yeezys here. They got the cream static hybrids. Now it has that cream upper with that static sort of translucent or semi-translucent uh, little stripe on the side. And uh, yeah, these were going for actually not that bad of a price. I think they wanted 1800 for these. And then they also had this white and green pair right here. That green outsole really popped. It might have glowed in the dark, not too sure. And for these Yeezys, they originally wanted 1,800 pesos for these. And I'm like, ah, let me try negotiating, okay? Let me try my negotiating skills. So I ended up passing on this colorway. But the other Yeezys were also 1,800. So I'll show you guys what I did end up trying to negotiate for. And they are these right here, the static Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebras. Now, these are also a rumored release for later this year. And uh, yeah, I ended up negotiating with them after trying on the other pair to make sure the sizing was correct. Now, they originally wanted 1,800, like I mentioned earlier. However, I was able to negotiate it down to 1350. I, uh, I originally like told them 1200 and then they budged down to 16. I told them 13 and they were like 14 and I was like, all right, I'm, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go look around, you know, maybe look at some other shoes. And they're like, all right, all right, let me, let me call my boss. Let me call my boss. Let me see what we can do. And uh, they said they could do 1350. And I was like, yo, I'm, I'm gonna just pass, I'm out. And then I started walking away and then it became 1300. So we got them boys. We did end up buying the zebra statics this is me picking up the pair in the bag right now that famous red and white green hills bag and stay tuned to the end of the video because i will be sharing with you guys these sneakers up close and personal and make sure you guys stick around to the end of the video because we are going to be doing a real easy giveaway for this series of philippine vlogs so stick around to the end for every philippine vlog if you guys want a free chance at some free yeezys and it couldn't come to green hills and not show you guys the worst like the obvious super super fake yeezys they had these sort of peachy ones which are obviously just for kids they never made these they have like anti-boost material on the insole they make your feet hurt after wearing them instead of comfortable or feel good and then they have these gray ones here too look at the these tag like look at the tag on the inside it's just laughable it's it's really really funny it's like almost a homemade tag i think i could have made a adidas tag like that when i was eight years old Alright, so that's gonna wrap up our time here at Green Hills. We did end up buying a pair of shoes, which I will show you guys in just a moment, but 
I've actually been shopping here with a subscriber this whole time. Uh, we got Kevin, right? Hello, yeah. Kevin. Kevin's been helping me out. He showed me a, a few cool stories here that I didn't know about. So you guys will see a bunch more of it later in the vlog this week. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna go get some mango nacelle. I love eating here. The chicken's really, really good. I know everyone in the Philippines loves their unlimited rice. So yeah, let's grab some chicken uh, with, with Kevin, the homie. And uh, yeah, let's have a good time. Look. Sorry. We're back. We are back at the room we are staying at for uh, this week here in the Philippines. These fake Yeezys, they're pretty cool. They're pretty cool. I'm excited for a real pair to eventually release. If they do end up releasing, I'll probably buy myself a pair. Maybe do a real versus fake. But this is the Yeezy Green Ale Special right here from Fake Yeezys. So let me show you guys the box. And right away, if you guys look at the box, you'll know that these are super, super easy to spot just based off of like the font that they use and the shape and how low quality the box is. I know that sounds funny, a low quality box but it's a thing, it's a thing, I swear. So here's a look at them right here, the, the box, the label. It's a smaller box than I'm used to. And then, it doesn't fart. Tom Tom talked about this before. If your Yeezy box doesn't fart when you open it up, it's probably a fake pair, so. It's, it's falling apart, it's not farting. It literally is it's falling apart. These are the fake Yeezys right here. The Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra Statics. Man. I love this colorway. You guys know I love the Zebra Yeezy and I love the Statics too. So they're putting together, you know, my two favorite Yeezy 350 V2s or two of them into one shoe. If you were to wear these on feet, I don't think I would call you out if they actually release this pair. Now this is a pair that's not out yet, but straight up, if I saw somebody wear these on feet, I wouldn't think they're fake, especially if you know you get some dirt on these, put some miles into them. Up close, when you feel the prime knit, it's actually, damn dude, it's actually not that bad. It's not as soft as the prime knit I'm used to. And then they also have the, the back tab right here. A little bit of a giveaway. Actually, it's more of the, it's probably one of the bigger giveaways. The back tab right here is not the, the right shape. You can tell it's just, it's a little bit off. Not the way it's supposed to look. The pull tab is not as sturdy as it should be. It's very, very flimsy and also not angled properly. This is the Zebra Static Tag. Obviously not the right font by any means. Not even close. Like, these aren't even trying to be real. They're not fooling anybody. So yeah, that is the pickup for today from the fake marketplace. Now I want to get into the real Yeezy giveaway for the Philippine vlogs and the month of November. So we're going to be giving away a pair of Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroens, these sneakers on screen right now. And to enter the giveaway, it's going to be super, super easy. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel right now. Hit that red button down below, Sneaker Talk. Subscribe to my second channel, Sneaker Talk 365, I'll leave it linked down below as well. It's my second channel where I'll be posting extra sneaker reviews and more sneaker content. Like this video, comment down below, letting me know what you guys think about these static zebras. Do you think this is a sneaker that they should release? And uh, include your Instagram handle as well. And if you guys want more entries for my Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Citroen giveaway, then watch any of the Philippine vlogs from this trip I'm on. Like the video and comment down below answering the comment question of the day for that particular vlog. And of course, include your Instagram and follow me on Instagram. So best of luck to everybody for the giveaway. We have a lot more awesome vlogs on the way. We got some fake bargaining. We're gonna go to DJ Big Boy Chang's house once again. We're gonna go to the other fake markets and of course, some of the outlets here in the Philippines. So I'm hyped. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And uh, yeah, have an awesome day.